everyone, it's Matt from Pixelate here. Hope you guys had an amazing weekend. I have some really good news in terms of mods. If you use mods for The Sims 4 or if you are a mod creator yourself. So we knew previously, I have talked about this in previous videos, that Curse Forge is actually partnering with The Sims to basically bring The Sims 4 mod content to their platform. It's launching sometime this month and we knew that they already had collaborated with players to allow you to download and have your mods be automatically updated from their platform at launch. But there was always a question, can anyone join this platform or is it just for those that are invited? I'm a few days late to this, I'm sorry, but I wanted to make sure that I covered this and got this up for you guys. On October 30th, CurseForge actually uploaded a little video clip. They tweet, don't worry, Simmers, the official The Sims 4 hub is not exclusive for the Mod Squad. So we learned about the Mod Squad. That's all those creators that you saw in this little clip. And I was really hoping that they wouldn't have it be exclusive to just those people or they make it a super, super hard process for creators to apply and put their stuff up. But they have stated here that starting November 14th, anyone will be able to upload their Sims 4 mods and CC to CurseForge except for cats. Sorry, cats. Humans only. Of course, you will will have to abide by the rules. For example, Turbo Driver's content will be available on CurseForge, but Wicked Whims will not because it does not comply with the rules and guidelines of CurseForge. So make sure you guys are looking out for the rules and guidelines. But if you are a creator and create mods or CC, you will have the power to put all of that stuff on CurseForge for the community to download. And it's so nice because everything is found in one place and also, it's easy updating so you don't have to search millions of websites looking to see if things were updated or changed. It's going to alert you within this program, the download manager that apparently is going to be launching sometime this year and you'll be able to update and stuff through there. So that's the main reason why I'm waiting to continue any of my Sims 4 series because I have just about had it with broken mods and I just want to wait for this to come out before I do any more on that. But let me know what you guys think about this down below. Low. CurseForge does answer a few questions from the community though. Will we be able to see our already installed mods through this? I've been waiting for a way to eliminate and organize my mods thoroughly for years. Please say yes. So even mods that you can't download from CurseForge. Like, will it be able to see things that you've installed locally from creators that aren't on the platform? And CurseForge responds, hey, just to clarify the timeline here, on November 14th, we'll launch the Mod Hub, meaning we'll have hundreds of the Sims 4 mods on CurseForge. On December 6th, we'll launch an open beta of the Sims 4 mod manager. And yes, it will be able to manage already installed mods. So that's something that's completely different that is coming early December. But like I said earlier, coming sometime this year, which was what I thought. So happy to know that a lot of this is going to be starting within the next month because it's already November 7th. Share your thoughts of this down below. Definitely good news, whether you're a player or if you're a creator yourself. I know console and mod people you guys don't have access to mods at all I don't know if that's ever going to change and honestly I don't think it will because if you guys could have access to a platform like this to put mods in your game it would literally change the game it would absolutely change the game because mods are the reason that I still play the sims 4 today like if it wasn't for mods I don't think I would be sticking around with it I love you thanks for watching so long and happy simming